Well, I'm finally to the animating part of this whole project. Actually kind of excited about it. Um, what I'm working on now is shot 11 here. And um, this is the kid standing in front of a pinball machine. He's, let me just play a little bit of this. So he's, um, he's playing pinball when police cars go whizzing past and the thug character comes into the laundromat to hide. And there you go. So what I'm going to be working on is shot 11. Right there. So, how would I go about setting up my file so I have the character, the pinball machine, the wall, the various things in the shot? Well, that's what I'm going to go over here. What I've done is I've created each object in its own object file. So I've got this folder of uh, final objects. And I've got things like detergent box and comic book and ashtray and uh, pinball machine and padlock and payphone and police car and on and on. So I've got all my objects in here. Uh, like we can go into this payphone object and see it here. So there it is. Okay. So each of my objects was created as an individual uh, in an individual uh, uh, file. And then, as you can tell by this green outline, it was um, added to a, a group. And right here you can see the um, payphone group right there. So then each file, each object is then linked to what I call a, a set scene. And my set is a laundromat. And let's see if it's going to come up here. So this file has my entire set in it. There's the street where the police cars go whizzing by. Here is the laundromat. I don't know if you can really see that. <laughs> um, and inside is a slew of objects and things that I've created. Um, let me go down a bit here and take a peek inside. So you can see that uh, there is, you know, ceiling fans, washing machines. There's the pinball machine back here that the kid's going to be standing in front of. So within this uh, file, there are really no objects in it um, in this uh, file. They are all linked from the individual object files. So I went to File, Append, or, or Link, and then I went to my Objects folder, selected, say, that payphone, and under Group, I selected the payphone group. Once that was in there, then I had to say, I had to go to Add Group, and then select Payphone. Here it is. And that then imported or linked um, that object into my, into my uh, scene here. Um, Another thing that I think is important here is, is up at the top, if you look up at the top of the screen here, the scene name is Laundromat. And I've got an empty scene and one my, my main scene named 
laundromat, and that's going to be important here as we create the shot file for shot 11. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new file and of course delete the cube and and light. And now what I'm going to do is I better save it first before I try and do any of this. What I'm going to do first is link to that laundromat set. So I choose File, Append, or Link. Click on Link and Relative Paths. Now I go Hunt for it under Sets, Laundromat, Final. And instead of choosing Group, I'm going to choose Scene. And there is my laundromat scene. I load it and nothing happens. So the way I get it into my scene though is I'm going to make this nice and big. Right here in the output tab of your scene F10 uh, buttons window is a little pull down that says no set scene. I'm going to click on that and choose laundromat. There's my linked laundromat scene. Click on that and there it is. So now what I'm doing is I'm linking to that laundromat set that is then linked to each individual object. Now what I'm going to do is I need my character. So to do that, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to uh, link to my character using relative paths. But instead of linking the scene, I'm going to link the group that he's in. Because the character mesh and the rig and everything is all lumped into a group called Kid. And so I link him into my new blend file, but he isn't there, so I have to click on Add Group and Add the Kid. And there he is. Now, uh, at this point in time, you can't really do much with him. Um, he's... Uh, I can't move them, I can't pose them, I can't really do anything at this point in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make his rig a proxy. And to do that I can press Control alt p select the, r the rig for the character, and there we go. Now the rig can be changed into pose mode, and he can be posed in all kinds of silly ways. So, we now have a brand new file with really nothing in it. It's been, everything in this file has been linked from one file to, an, to another. So what I'm going to do now, real quick, is just take him over and put him by the uh, pinball machine. So I'm going to spin him around, move him over to the pinball machine. And place him where he's going to need to be. And there he is. So, there's the beginning of my shot. He's going to have to turn around and look at what's going on. But so far, it looks like everything is beginning to work. Hope that helped.